you will not find a better team than these two right here. They lift each other up physically, mentally, and emotionally. Over the past couple of years, many of you might not know this, but they have cumulatively lost 80 pounds. <laughs> meet two people who communicate as well, as effectively, or as often. And emotionally, they really lift each other up. Honestly, one of the most beautiful memories I have that tells who Ellie is as a human being was my eighth birthday when we, an hour away from going to Playland in New York, were playing baseball in the backyard, even though my mother advised against it. And uh, seconds later, there was a bat coming towards his eye, blood everywhere. Um, that was my bat. And, uh, and I brought him inside and I said, Mom, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and, and they rushed to the hospital and I spent my entire birthday alone. I remember when he got back from the hospital, he rushed to me right away and he said, oh, dude, I can't believe you spent your whole birthday alone. And I'm over here thinking, I can't believe I just gave you stitches. <laughs> what are you talking about? So that's who Ellie is. And for those who don't know him, and my wife knows this really deeply, I always call Ellie the most amazing human being I've ever met. Although she's my younger sister and also a few inches shorter, she's a younger sister who I've in recent years really started to look up to and Ailey is so lucky to have her. I promise to always be by your side when we feel good and when we hurt. I promise to face our life circumstances and work through them together. I promise to always respect you, to be kind, to make sure you are always heard. I dedicate myself to building the life we've been dreaming of, starting right now. I love you, Eddie. And I vow to you, my heart, my soul, my future, for you and the Nunez team. of an angel <laughs> saying words that I hoped I'd hear my whole adult life hey George is there anything I can do to help <laughs> I, I didn't know what to say <laughs> I thought I was gonna cry, actually. <laughs> but eventually I just nodded, and Ailey, well, he, he got down on his knees and he helped me pull out nails and finish that floor. <laughs> that night, we celebrated with a glass of wine. Well, it was probably two or th three glasses of wine. It was a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> And of course, every guy here knows that when you drink wine or beer, you gotta rip open the chips, right? right? But if you don't know already, every woman in my family is a health nut. So when I rip over the, open the chips, I don't make eye contact. I'm just saying. But this day, I was ripping open the chips, I was pouring them in the bowl, and I could feel these eyes on me. And I looked over and I saw this look of passion. <laughs> Not at me, but on the chips. 
And it was at that point that I realized that this was the son I never had. (laughs) 